Hi everyone, today I'm bringing you the last piece of Inktober! I know, I know it's November, please, please don't kill me. It's just that I really wanted to take my time with this piece. It took more or less five days and I really wanted to challenge myself. Um, lately, I really want to do more backgrounds or more elaborated stuff. And for this piece, as you can see, I added like a really lot of details, a really bunch of flowers. And that is something I usually don't do. I'm not very used to do very elaborate or difficult pieces and exclusively, exclusively background pieces. So for this piece, I started inking with my old and trusty Winsor & Newton black ink the one that is waterproof of course and lately i've been really into flowers i don't know why but it is something that i really enjoy watching in other people's art and why not why not implement it in my own art and i really think it gives a little bit more uh elaborate or i don't know how to express that but i think it is it gives the piece uh, something more finished look than just, uh, no, I don't know, making a character and just some plain background or one color background. I don't think it works for me. I think if you add, uh, I don't know, some kind of nature or plants or something, it gives the idea that it's something of a background, but it's not very elaborate. I mean, it's not like you're making a building or something, which is like extremely difficult and it takes a lot of time. <laughs> what I wanted for this piece is a little bit more uh, for like a pastel tone. So I used water watercolors, of course, but very, very light colors. And I wish the sky went a little bit more lighter. But uh, it's done, I, <laughs> there's not much I can do, but I really liked how the piece came up. I'm really into these kind of colors right now, like purples and pinks and very light greens or very washed out and more into the gray side. I'm not sure how to express that gray thing, but I think by far this is the piece that I lately, at, at least, I think this year or maybe these six past months is the biggest and not in size but it is the more planned piece I think I've done. I felt really inspired, I really don't know why, I just uh, wanted to do a lot of flowers and I think it is really therapeutic because um, you're just going, you're just repeating the same thing over and over again so you don't really have to think a lot I mean you don't have to think about the composition and other things but um, I really didn't find out very difficult as I would have thought earlier but I did take a lot of time inking I think that was the most trickiest part of the piece because I was extremely afraid I would fuck the thing up. I was afraid I would make a mistake because, um, I mean, if I made a mistake in pencil, of course I could erase it, but this was waterproofing, so yeah, I was a little bit scared, but fortunately I think I did not, and that gave me like a lot of confidence to make more pieces like this more complicated pieces, more interaction with the characters and other objects, with the background. It's very difficult to get out of that zone of your character just being there, uh, posing and doing nothing. Uh, I, at least it is for me. But yes, uh, uh, another thing I really, really enjoy and I would really recommend this to you guys if you do any kind of art, I really recommend you to do shades with purple. It's like it's like a really art hack doing shades with purple because they come out really really great. Doing shades with 
black or gray no don't do that um, I really recommend you to use another color it it really pops the the illustration you're making right now I'm really enjoying using purple I I just love purple right now and the real question is will I continue doing witches after this October is finished uh, yes <laughs> I probably am going to continue doing witches I really have enjoyed this I I want to mix them up a little bit I don't really know why I'm lately into really pastel tones like very very light uh, pink very light blue very light purple these are like my top colors right now but I should talk about the piece <laughs> um, to protect the image um, the white zone I use a uh, liquid latex it is very easy to use and I really recommend it to this to you if you use a lot of watercolors and if you're like me a person who makes mistakes and don't know how to use her own uh, art supplies yes i do recommend you guys use the, this latex liquid latex this is a mexican brand so uh, there is not much point in saying but i think any kind of liquid latex would do the trick um Oh my god, the video is finishing. I'm so sorry. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked my rambling and yes, I will see you in my next video of Maybe Witches. Bye bye.